Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kovza from Kovza Trading. And today we're going to look at the uh, beautiful speaker. It's actually a wall speaker from uh, Bang Olufsen. It's the famous uh, build of 4500. And it's very iconic speaker from Bang Olufsen because you actually use them as a attached to the wall. So the sound can go through the wall and out to the audience. Today we're gonna deassemble it and take a look what's inside the speaker. So the speaker is actually divided in two. Uh, in this area we have the Beowax uh, 4500. And downstairs we have the Amplify module with the, the green display. So when you combine the, these two uh, amplifiers with the, with the Beowax, is, the, the name is going to the be Beolab 4500. It's like the Pentas when the Pentas not doesn't have the the amplifier. Biolab, I think the Biolab 2000. So when you combine them, it's being Biolab Penta. It can also be Biobox Penta. So in this case, we're gonna deassemble the Biolab 4500. The Biolab 4500 has been manufacturing from uh, 91 to 95. And the uh, sign is Georg Lindgren Lindger Lava. It's very, it's very hard to pronounce Asian. The name will be displayed uh, on the screen. The Beulah 4500 is, came in two versions. This is the blue one, blue version, and also be in the gray version. So uh, the maximum uh, long term. Output per module is 160 watts. And inside the, the speaker, we have uh, two drivers. You can take the covers off. We have the uh, woofer and we have the Twitter module. Just put this back in. It's very easy to remove it. There we go. And if you flip it upside down, you can actually see the two modules. So uh, I don't know why Bang Olufsen make this uh, construction, but the amplifier module BLAP uh, 4500 is connected with the brackets. So uh, you can actually unscrew these two. So the connections between the BLAP amplifier and the Baywax 4500 is disconnected. So you can also use a uh, these speakers uh, with the other systems and also with your Bang Olufsen system. The connections, we have a, a power link, two power links input and one uh, 2D input and we have the selection, very dusty, we have a selection for the, for the options. We have the power link, line and speaker link. So you can uh, adjust the, the input and output. As I said in the beginning, uh, we're gonna deassemble the, the complete speaker we're gonna take a look what's inside the Beolab 4500 slash Beovox 4500. Normally, I think they are coming in like this, but uh, in some situation, I have seen uh, the Beolab 3000 slash Beolab Beovox 3000 in different markets. But uh, normally, the Beolab uh, 4500 uh, is coming like this. So. Uh, Let's begin. Always safety first. Uh, so uh, let's. I always start to remove the front cover. Let's remove the front grill. And the front grill looks like this, and it has some plastic dots inside here. So uh, yeah, it's looking good. In, it's actually in good condition. It has a little hole here, but normally when you, you can also recraft them. So it's very easy to do with it. So uh, in here we have the, the woofer and the Twitter. So uh, I'm gonna speed up the process, remove the screws and remove the drivers. We have finally removed the screws around the drivers so we can, we can just take a flat screwdriver and lift it up. And remove the, the cables. And here's the driver. And the part number and I don't know why. 21 is done here, but it uh, looks like this side, and we're gonna remove the Twitter driver. Okay, 
Here is the driver for the Twitter. These are some part numbers made in Belgium Philips driver. Interesting. And as you can see, Bang Olufsen has uh, used a different damping material inside the, the speaker. So it's like, a, I don't know what it is. It's like a wall cool, something like that. Textile damping material. We are finished in this area. In this area, there's nothing. Uh, I have this DSM on a lot of these uh, bio labs in, a, in the past years. So we're gonna flip it and we're gonna remove the, uh, actually we're gonna remove the brackets. The two brackets hold the build lab amplifier module. So we're gonna split the, split the, the two, uh, I don't know what it's called, uh, speakers. So I'm gonna remove all the screws here on top and also around in these holes and see what's inside the build lab. 4,500. So I'm going to speed up the process again and let's begin. We have finally removed the, the, the screws from the brackets. So you can just uh, take out the brackets. Two brackets holding the amplifier module. Look like this. And also the, the brackets for the wall bracket. Uh, so uh, yes, look like this. I don't have the wall bracket here, but there's a long pin, thin, where you can just easily, it's very easy to mount them. It's just, it's just like a TV, it's actually easier when you have mounted the big, uh, long, thin plate at the end the wall, you can just hang the the build at 4,500. Uh, I've never unscrewed this, these screws, so I don't know what's inside. Uh, the uh, the box is, is, now it's a box 4,500. So it's very interesting. So I'm gonna remove the, the amplifier module, focus on the bio box side. So let's try to see if we can remove this. So, so here's the bio box 4500. Let's uh, remove the cables from the crossover. And here's the Here's the damping material, and here is the back piece of the Beobox 4500. It's not anymore a uh, Beobox 4500, so it looks like this. And put it here. And, and one more damping material. So let's try to remove the, the crossover for the Beobox uh, 4500. Here we go, and the crossover is has been removed and look like this. And here is the front cover, front grill. I like the design. The design is very beautiful on this in, in this section. So it's look like this. Next step is uh, we're gonna remove all the parts inside the amplifier module. So we're gonna bring the, the amplifier side, and here is the amplifier side. It's the Beolab uh, uh, 4500. So we're gonna remove uh, some screws. There's uh, five, six screws, three screws on each side, and we're gonna split the process again and remove it. We have finally removed the screws uh, from the back side. Uh, let's try to see if we can open it up. I think there's some screws hanging here. Let's try to remove the screws. And always in winter stuff, there's a, a spider. I think it didn't remove. There we go. Try again, and here is the inside of the Beulah 4500. Here we go. So at the side we have the selection, uh, we have video, audio and standby. We have the display. I think the display is in, in the green version. Uh, over here we have the power supply board. Uh, amplifier board, and uh, I think uh, 
There's also, I think there's a transform board, power supply board, amplifier board, and we have the, the selector board. So let's start with uh, removing the display and go over to the, the, uh, the selection uh, switch where you can switch between uh, audio uh, and video and standby. We have removed the screws around the display. Uh, we can just lift it up and as you can see, the display is in the green. Uh, I think the PSV board, there's no numbers on. I will put it on the screen. And we can also remove, I'm really unsure how to remove uh, this board. I think we need to remove. Hmm. Very interesting. Can you remember how to remove this one? There's the switch. I think we need to pull it down. Yeah. Here we go. There's the switchboard. And here's the uh, front cover for BLF 4500. So let's concentrate uh, us on the BLF uh, amplifier modules. We have the, the transform board, power supply board, amplifier board, and we also have the switchboards at the middle. So let's try to remove first the transform board. We have removed the screws. Let's Lift it up. And we need the cable. And let's try to see if we can pull the cable out. There we go. And here's the power supply board. No, not the power supply board. Transformer board like this, and uh, let's continue to remove the, the the power supply board. The power supply board is only holding by one screw. Go. Where's the cable screw? Here we go. Here up and boom. And here is the I think it's the power supply board. We have the piece of board two. And there's no numbers. And we have a part number here. I will put the, the, the numbers in the screen. Let's continue to remove the PCB board 6 and 5. Here we go. Should not be removed. And let's, let's see. Ah, okay. I think a couple of times I have trouble to remove this board. Uh, I think. Need to be pressed out, but I'm a little bit unsure how to do it. Okay, I think I've got it. Just out like this. There we go. But uh 
how did they put this in here? That's really interesting. I think they have the Okay, it's coming out. But uh, I think we have bent the connections. So we're gonna realign them. There we go. And this is the PSB board five and six. Next process is uh, removing the PCB board uh, 7. So as I can see the PCB board is uh, attached to the PCB board 4. So it's a complete set. Uh, let's remove the, the board from the, the cooling pad. And here is the amplifier module with the cooling pad. And this is the PCB board 4. Look like this. And the rest is here. Back cover and chassis. So we are actually done with the, the deassembling process for the build of 4500. Let's bring up the parts at the table and see uh, what we have removed. So we are completely finished with the deassembling process for the build of 4500. We have uh, removed a bunch of parts from the, the speaker. Uh, as here we have the, the first crossover board. Uh, it's actually sitting in the, the upper side of the speaker. It's called Beowox 4500. It's the crossover board. As we go down to the, the build-up section where the amplifier sits on, we have the power supply board. Look like this. And we have the transformer board. Over here we have the amplifier board. Here we have the switch for video, audio and standby, the side of the speaker. We have the display in the green version. And here we have the plastic parts need to be set like this. And we have the switch for position, power link, line and speaker link. And this set is like this. It's in PCB board 5 with PCB board 6. Here we have the woofer. Look like Bang Olsen woofer. And we have the Twitter made in Belgium and Philips. And over here we have the brackets that combines the amplifier module with the Beowulf 4500. So you can connect it. And we have the brackets for the uh, uh, wall bracket. We have the cover. Beautiful texture. We have the cover for the amplifier part in the green version. We have uh, also the damping material. I think the, the earliest version of the damping material. And we have the back side of the Beowulf 4500 and it's type uh, 6721 uh, serial number with 10 and software 1.0. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I, ho I hope you learn and enjoy the process for the Beowulf 4500 and see you next time.